So this Friday morning, Buckingham Palace, King Charles and woke Prince Willie, they literally bent the knee uh, for Ngozi Fulani because they had her over to have a chat with Lady Susan Hussey, who they told to resign because in a statement by uh, Woke Willie's spokesperson, I'm going to keep calling him Woke Willie now because he's funny. It was only right that Lady Susan should resign because uh, racism has no place in society, blah, 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 the same uh, song sheet. So they threw her to the wolves, they fed her to the wolves because there was this uh, person from a, a minority demographic who says she was a victim of institutionalised racism simply because Lady Susan Hussey asked her where she was from because she was dressed uh, differently. And how dare Buckingham Palace do this to Lady Susan Hussey, a woman in her 80s who served their family, Her Majesty the Queen, for 60 odd years for no money and hasn't put a foot wrong. Yet here she is, sacrificed on the altar of political correctness for appeasement. Shame on them. So you can imagine uh, one of the rooms in Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles and Woke Willie stood there and uh, berating Lady Susan Hussey, his own godmother, dignified woman, a lady, in front of Ngozi Fulani, who probably takes this as a victory. Only this bit, though, because <laughs> you know the spotlight's on her now because of the charity and financial irregularities in sister space and the various names she has called herself. And all because Lady Susan Hussey asked uh, Ngozi Fulani where she was from a few times. The woman is elderly, her friends confirm she is hard of hearing, and she's a woman of her time. You would think that Lady Susan Hussey had used the N-word, had worn a white pillowcase on her head, while actively rooting out minorities from that uh, cocktail party and throwing them out because of uh, she hates them because of their skin colour. But that's not what happened, is it? And Gozi Fulani turned up there with a tape recorder in order to entrap someone with anything she could find, anything, to vindicate Harry and Meghan uh, in their upcoming documentary. That's what it was all about. It was there to catch someone at the royal family and justify the claim of institutionalised racism. But it hasn't worked, has it? Because the spotlight has gone on to Ngozi Fulani and her charity, Sister Space, because of financial irregularities. Did she really think that by doing this, nobody would look into her uh, and what she does? I mean, how stupid is that? So anyway, in a meeting uh, put out by Buckingham Palace regarding this morning's meeting, it says, Lady Susan has pledged to deepen her awareness of the sensitivities involved and is grateful for the opportunity to learn more about the issues in this area. I can only imagine what Susan Hussey must really think about all this rigmarole. Sat there while the King and Woke Willie patronised her and told her off. And she's probably sat there thinking, I only asked the poor woman where she was from. What have I done wrong? Anyway, this statement goes on. Miss Fulani, who has unfairly received the most appalling torrent of abuse on social media and elsewhere, has accepted this apology and appreciates that no malice was intended. Appreciates no malice was intended. Then why the big massive fuss then? Why did she feel that her nationality was being denied? Why did she feel she was the victim of racism? Why did she feel that she was uh, physically assaulted? Because Lady Susan Hussey moved her hair to see her name badge. Why did she feel she had to go to the newspapers, the mainstream media, social media, and air all this out if uh, she knew that no malice was intended? This thing is a farce. This thing was a personal witch hunt on her behalf, and it went wrong. So anyway, the statement continues. Uh, it says, All royal households will keep focusing on inclusion and diversity, and they'll review what they can learn from sister space. The only thing they can learn from sister space is financial fraud. Uh, not paying taxes, not paying taxes on time, taking money from Black Lives Matter, the London Mayor Sadiq Khan government handout, comic relief, and then paying the only employee of that charity, Ngozi Fulani, thousands of pounds. That's what the palace can learn from Sister Space. And so it goes on, the palace asks that both women are left in peace to rebuild their lives in the wake of an immensely distressing period for them both. They hope that their example shows a path to resolution can be found with kindness, cooperation and the condemnation of discrimination wherever it takes root. Of course, Ngozi Fulani wants to be left alone. She wants this to go away. She wants everything to go away now because it's gone wrong for her. And the Charity Commission, they are looking into sister space as we speak because of financial 
irregularities. So, you know, she's no angel and she's been found out. I'm glad it's backfired. And just a point of observation here. Interestingly, during this meeting this morning, Ngozi Fulani wasn't wearing her traditional African dress. Make of that what you will. And I hope this is a lesson for people going out to catch people or set people up as something that they're not for their own ends, that they do come a cropper in the end. So there we go. That's my video. Hope you like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next time, Roger Trout.